Hey guys, in this Appian Quick Start video, I'll show you how easy it is to get started with Appian and build a simple generic record keeping application. You can take these steps and replace the word record with the word or entity of your choice. Maybe it's a customer relationship management system that you want to build, in which case you can replace the word record with client. Or perhaps you want to build a staff or inventory tracking application in which case you could replace the word record with employee or item in the case of inventory tracking. If you don't already have an Appian environment, the first thing we can do is Google Appian trial and click on the first non-advertisement link regarding Appian Community Edition. Join the Appian Community if you don't already have an account and sign in. Then we can look for the Community Edition site. Things may change in the future, but as of October 2022, you will get an email with your login. If you don't, you can use the forgot password link in the login page with your community email to get your password. Once we're in our environment, we're going to click on the top right waffle icon and go to Appian Designer. From here, we're going to click to create a new application. We'll title it Record Tracking. Once we've made our application, either in the build view or in the explore view, we're going to create a new record type called record. Here, we want to select the option under I want to start from scratch, then press next. Here we'll add a field to indicate our record name, description, and whether or not the record is active. Then we'll press Next, Next, Save Changes, and Finish. If we want to make changes, add or change fields, we can do so from this data model view. If we click at the top left, we can see this gives us a basic record listing. Now we want to be able to create new records. Under Record Actions, we'll use the Create option. Then we'll click Next, Next, and Generate Action and save changes at the top right. Now we can see we can create new records. Under Views and Header, we can click Generate Record View, press Next, Next, Generate View, Close, and Save Changes. Now if we click in a record, we'll see the fields in the record. If we want to edit the record, we can generate a record action Press Update, Next, Next, and Generate Action. If we close and save changes and go to Related Actions inside a record, we can now update the record. If we want, we can now go back to Appian Designer, create a new site, and define a new page to show our records. Under Type, we can select Record List. Under content, we can select our record type, which we named record. If we go to the web address, we have in three minutes an app that we can use to create and edit records. If we wanted external users to start using our application, we could create the users in the admin console and then add those to our RT users group. The first part of building an application is simple and easy for me to put into a video. But as you require specific custom functionality, you will need to be more savvy with Appy to be able to build them out. If you're looking for Appy training or development help, I'm a certified lead Appian developer. I have partners and a team of developers ready to go, and I've worked with many of you before. So whether you're a large company or just one person, I can help. For now, however, thank you for your attention and good luck.